I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the Union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long-term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered spaceflight and left our homeworld. Union with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pureblood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. If something could have happened to her, maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The Union is a connection that transcends both time and space. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs>